Thank you, Fred. Welcome back to the central kitchen position, and welcome back, Sunny Dear Campo. Hello, my friend. Hello. Yahoo! Welcome. And good day, Cliff. Welcome. We're here. We're in the kitchen, and yes. I see a selection of all sorts of things, which I'm going to I'm going to hold up along the way. This obviously is a squid. Yes. We like that. And I have some fresh and local ingredients here. I got some Spanish chorizo. What is nice and mild? What is that? A Spanish sausage. It's okay. a fresh one. You can get the dried ones too. All uh right. -huh. I got some beautiful uh, cherry tomatoes. Tomatoes, very nice. Chickpeas, chickpeas. cooked chickpeas. Yeah, got the chickpeas, yeah. yummy. Lemon, yeah. Lemon, I got some oregano and some parsley in there. Is that oregano? I've only yeah. ever seen that in, in like jars. No, this is the fresh one oh, from my nice. garden. Nice and organic, mm, that one. Very nice. Uh, olives. Pitted olives, kalamata ones. And uh, the, I got some. Onion. Red capsicums and some Spanish onions as yep. well. Yeah. Okay. So if we put all of that together, what are we going to make? Well, we're going to make a very simple tapas, nice and easy for this hot weather. Mm, Great. Yes. Yes. Well, Something's let's been hanging get... around a bit in some parts of the, the country. Uh, you know, some people in the eastern states have been having dreadful weather, but this might help them a little bit. So where do we start? Okay. I'll get started. My you beaut burner here. It really is called a U Butte yeah. Travel of Portable <laughs> Barbecue. U Butte. U Butte. That's a great name. Well, I'm going to slice my chorizos oh, wow. here. Nice, nicely on the angle. So it's more dramatic when we plate it up and serve it up to our guests. So is that already cooked? It, it, it no, this one cooked. is the fresh variety of chorizo. You can get the cooked smoked ones as well. Mm. Can I have a little bit of that? Uh, this one's still raw. Oh, it's okay. a fresh Oh, oh, so oh. That, okay, so we've got to cook it first. Yeah, I we'll cook I was, it first. I, I was just testing something. I know you're hungry. <laughs> yeah. well, I'll make you more hungry. I was just testing. Well done, you. You passed. Well, I'm just going to add a little bit of olive oil to my grill here. Mm -hmm. And I'll start grilling these things. I'm just going to heat up very quickly. I have eaten raw sausage in the past. When we were little, when we were really <laughs> little, there was a butcher that, that had a very interesting idea because <laughs> Mum would go in with little kids, okay? And I still remember this man's name, Mr. Knox it was, at Brentwood Shopping Centre. This is about 100 years ago. Um, but Mum would go in to get the, the, you yeah. know, the meat order and kids would be running around all over the place. So Mr. Knox would give each of the kids a snag. So we'd sit there and eat that and be quiet. Mum could get the shopping done. Yeah. Genius. Fantastic. Yep. It's an awesome thing to eat raw sausage. Oh, I think it might be too. Yeah. It, might, it does turn people off at barbecues. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, I'm going to prepare my squid tubes here. Well, I'll do just clean up the inside and just open them up into a half and then slice them in half. I'm going to show you how to score a squid, Cliff. What I do is a very sharp knife. Just glide your knife through the squid inside part, not the outside part, and not cutting it right through the board. So you're just sliding your blade right what, on top. Why do you do that? So when we grill it, it'll give it a nice curling effect. Ah. Yeah. So after you do that, just slice it all up. I do it on a little triangle styles like this. Place it in my bowl. Add a little bit of olive oil. And I got here some mixture of salt and pepper already. So it's easy Ground to marinate. Very yes. nice. Give that a nice little toss. Let that marinate for a few seconds, yeah? And just gonna turn my chorizos right here, okay? How long do they need? Just a minute or two each side, I guess? Yeah, a minute or two on each side, or depends on the color you like, no? Beautiful. Great. Fantastic. Yummy. Oh, great. I need your hand here a little bit here, Cliff. We're gonna cook. Me and Fred always dance in the kitchen every time I hear fresh and local kitchen. Okay. okay, start tossing in all these ingredients that we have here. The chickpeas. So I just put them all in at once? Put it all in the bowl, just toss them all over. Okay. A nice and nice and whole. So <coughs> when you're having tapas, it's great to share with your friends and family, you know? So I got some capsicums. Yep. I'm going to slice How about up. the olives? Do you want those in yet? Yes, please. I go in. And I try chop thinly slice red onions here. Yeah. And just going <coughs> to mix them all over like that. All right. All right. Beautiful. And here, oregano. with my beautiful oregano, just slide them right through and oh. throw that beautiful... You're a, shall I do that? Yeah, try doing that. I hope I don't mess it up. Okay. Oops, In I here... I'll rip the top off, that's fantastic. I'm going to start cooking my squid as well. So my chorizo is almost done. On a separate part of the grill, I'll just... That curls quickly, doesn't it? Yes. Then again, nice. I suppose if I was dancing on that, I'd probably curl quickly too. Yes. Do I need to mix this up? Yeah, just toss that in your hand like a wok. Oh, yeah. I see. Right. Yeah, oh. like this. Oh, just keep it in the bowl, Cliff. <laughs> <laughs> Good move. Fantastic. All right. Our Nobody chorizos are almost done. 
and my squid. Sunny, this doesn't look nicely right. Nicely roasting oh, here. Beautiful. Nice. <laughs> this is Why don't easy. you just put my hand in it? Yes, you can do that okay, too. Fine, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, That's what chefs do. Yeah, well, I suppose mm. there's nothing delicate, is there? Yeah. Okay. Okay, now look at my chorizo. Nicely, beautifully grilled. I'm going to toss them all into here. Wow. So the heat I've of the rag. chorizo. Yeah, you can use my rag there. Yeah, okay, thank you. I've made a bread for me. Wow, beautiful. Look at that. That squid doesn't need much either, does it? No. Keep, the, keep them nice and quickly on the hot grill. It's the technique to cooking a squid. How okay? did you do that? I did that. It did flung all <laughs> over the place. It's a chef trick. Then throw in the squid. Very simple. Just like that. Look how quick that comes. Oh, yum. A nice drizzle of olive oil. Yep. A little bit of sherry vinegar. Oh, yeah. that's nice. Salt and pepper. Give it a nice toss and we're done. Great thing about tapas is we share it to all our friends. Actually, that looks too good to share. Oh, uh, don't do that. Great. The floor crew is looking very close. Yes, there, well, we got three lovely tapas plates to share to all our guests. And before we share it, we have to taste this. Okay. So, so let me, now, look at this presentation. This is lovely. Look at that, look at those colors. Beautiful. A little nice more. Yep, you've got the red, the chickpeas, sort of goldy color, and then, oh, yum. That's really nice. Yeah, let's try it. Would it be rude to try? Yes. Would it, don't, tell, don't tell Fred. Perfect with a nice cold of beer or oh, a cider. The man's an artist. Yahoo! Oh, it's very nice. Now, where can we get in touch with you? Because, of course, it is uh, Eat Good Life. So where do we find you? Well, I have a catering company, eatgoodlife.com.au, and you can find all my services there from cooking class to private home catering. Yum. Mm. Very nice. This is lovely. Thank you. Fred, you're going to love this. Um, if you can get close to it. Thanks to uh, Chicken Treat. Fresh and tasty back again soon here on the couch. Bon appetit. Thanks, Sonny. Thank oh. you. Oh, yum. Very nice. Got to love Cliff Reeve, the way he offers me food but eats it all himself. Good thing I'm slim these days and don't need to eat, eat all that fattening stuff.